So first you would put on the stockinette that we do not have today, because Central could not get it to me. Um, you would cut a hole for the thumb to go through, and you just slide it on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the webbing, go around and around, And back around. You do, I usually go there and back so that it's double layered. So usually in the rooms, you know, we've, you guys, we've got a sink in there and so I usually just run it under the sink because you don't want it completely sopping wet because um, you'll be there all day waiting for it to harden as you mold it. But because we don't have a sink in here, I'm just going to dunk it in the water. Just bring it out. So the, 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 the colored the side, the yellow side to the skin? The, the side to the skin. skin. Or the... This side. Oh, no. So this would be Or that bulk. Oh. So this one, <laughs> this one's really not that pretty, guys, but... Basically, it tells you why we're using. This is how it's going to look. Um, so you usually use two ace wraps total. I usually use more than two ace wraps, but we've got a limited number of supplies. I, if you notice, I use the smaller up by the hand, just because you you want to avoid wrinkles. Correct. Um, so you use the smaller up by the hand, and then get a larger size for up here. Normally, this would not be showing. So, normally, what you should see is just ace wrap with a little bit of stockinette peeking out at both sides, and, and then you would fold that over. And then to complete it, you would just sit there and mold it in the position you want it 90 degrees position of comfort until it hardens. Set them up with a sling, and that is your long arm posterior splint. <laughs> How long does it usually take to harden? It, it hardens pretty quickly. That's why we don't like submerge it. We yeah. just dampen it and wring it out. Okay. And it hardens like these are supposed to harden within a couple of minutes. Okay. So.